celebrating Tuesday. It's it's just Tuesday. I'm going to school. It's Tuesday. That means it's a school day. And you didn't get to sleep in. And there's not really much special going on. Why don't you guys just get out? Just just go do your school day. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Warm hug. Oh, thanks. Love you. Oh, there's one. Yeah, no, group hug. Free pug. Free pug. Oh, there's my babies. I love them. All right, get out. Bye-bye. Miss you. Love you. Bye. Cold. Warm it up outside. Of course. Warm it up in the car. Guys. It has been a while since I actually got any projects done. So today I'm gonna go take a look at my driftwood. I'm gonna see if anything jumps out at me and then I'm gonna try to get a new project started today. These ones over here I've had longer so they're just kind of out. I think I'd like to work on something, I don't know, flat today. I don't know if I wanna do a big project. Like this big piece here I've really been excited to use but I wanna make sure that it's fully dried before I do. This one's really interesting. It's got this bark on one side and then you flip it over and it's kind of this neat on that side. That one's obviously not dry yet though. I'm gonna flip that one over and let it finish drying. I think I'm going to assume the same is true for this really cool piece that I've got here that I wanna make sure is fully dry before I work with it because I don't want it to split. Um, I think I can work with this piece here. That one's nice and flat. Lots of little interesting pieces in here. I just have to decide if I would rather do a smaller piece or a bigger piece today. Hmm. So I think I've decided on this one here because I really like the edges of this piece. I think that is going to look really cool when I get it all cleaned up and sanded. And I think it's just gonna make a really neat piece to work with. So I'm gonna get it cleaned up, get it sanded, and we'll get started. So I basically have no idea what kind of wood I got my hands on when I'm at the beach. I just pick up the driftwood that the ocean gives me and I bring it home and I check it out after I sand it to see what I think this might be. This one is beautiful, but I have no idea what type of wood it is. It's got this really neat swirly pattern on it. And I think that's probably just a combination of the bugs that were eating at it and the salt water playing with it. But I just love this texture that this, the finish has after it's been sanded. And some of this is, is just like where the bugs have been eating at it and it's kind of a little dug down in there. So the sander really just kind of skims across the top and skips kind of those holes that are down in there, which gives it this kind of crackledy look, which is neat. And then on this side, I think the salt water stains that have gotten in here are so deep in some places that it just makes this really cool effect. You can see when I flip this over, what the wood looked like before we started. It's kind of got this whitewashed sort of silverish color on it. I don't know if it's been painted before or if it's just the color that the uh, that salt water gave it. Uh, it looks like it's probably been painted or whitewashed at some point. I have no idea where this piece of wood could have originated. I think it would be really interesting to know the history of this piece of wood. But for now, we're just gonna go with this surface and I'm gonna see what I can come up with to put on it.
that's our blue heron for the day. What do you guys think? I think what I might do with him is stain the feathers a little bit, but kind of leave the background the way that it is so that he stands out from the background a little bit. But I'm hesitant to do that because I do have a tendency to over stain. So I need to make sure that I stain it very lightly. But that won't be until tomorrow because right now it's time to go get my kids. My kids are here! Hello babies, hello babies. Oh, there's the little one. Hello little one. No idea. Is that a Pokemon card? Yeah. Nice. Hey, welcome home. Close the door, it's cold. Yeah. How was your day? Good. Awesome. Awesome. Dad's home. Uh, what's the matter? You don't like Pop-Tart crumbs all over the floor? I hate the mess that this kid made. Hey, um, I don't know if you know this, but that's sort of uh, what it's like to live with kids. No kidding. Yeah. Right. I think it's the rules. You have to have a mess if you have kids. But see, the important thing is the kids are helping. Hey, I won! I already finished my job. Wait, what are they doing? Oh, look. This one's playing a candle. A needle's candle. I know, but that's not helping. What did you guys do to help? We cleaned the table. What? We cleaned the table. But who made the mess on the table? Mm, let me think. I think I can think of about three people. I do that. I didn't. I didn't did do anything. Yeah, right. Well, it's almost dinner time, so get ready. Yay! So we fed you some dinner. We even let you eat after that big mess that Daddy had to clean up. Uh, what do you guys think of our new friend, the blue heron? Yeah, it's so not exactly blue yet. I can't decide if I want to stain it or wait, if I just want to leave it alone. Wait, wait, you could I paint think it. Good one. I yeah. think you could paint it pink. I don't know, maybe pink, those are huh? actually pink. Uh, that's a different kind of bird that's pink. What actually, that's a flamingo. Pink? This is a heron. I think it would be cool if you put a little bit, but not, not like, not like. So my boring. plan was, my thought was, that I could paint just the, just the feathers of the heron and maybe his beak and nothing else. Yeah, that'd be cool. Do you think that would work? Yeah. Do you think that would look really nice? it's the head that I really like. Or I could leave it alone and paint the background or stain the background that like the water. Well. I can't decide which I way I'd want to do it. it looks like he's standing on a stick in like the middle of the desert. Well, he kind of is standing on a stick, but it's in the middle of the water. Oh yeah, that makes sense now. From here it's yeah. like... He's like standing on a fence post and you can see through the fence. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's a fence rail, not a fence post. He's standing on a fence rail. Yeah, it looks like a stick. I mean, a log. It's supposed to be. Standing on the log. Um, guys, it's time to send my smarty pantses to bed. I don't even know why you're still awake. But there is good news. Tomorrow's Wednesday, which means you get an extra hour of sleeping in. No, no dancing. No, no, okay, no dancing. Two days, it's actually a half day. Ooh, you guys have a half day? Sweet. Um, who wants to go to bed? I see hands up. I see hands up. Uh, Jordan just wants to read. Who wants to go to bed and read? <laughs> All right, fine. If you if you don't want to go to bed, you can read. And if you want to just go to bed, you can just go to bed. Yeah. But for now, let's get you Smarty Pants. This is to bed. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. For to make this channel strong, share it with your friends. Good night, YouTube. See you tomorrow. Please subscribe now. Poof. I still think it should be pink.